And today I'm gonna show you one of my fave floor work moves, the diamond clack. And I'm gonna show you three different variations. Okay guys, I just wanted you to hear the noise that the diamond clack makes. It's a clacking noise, I love it. And I'm gonna show you some prep exercises now that you can do before you go into your clack, diamond clack practice. Just some things to open up those hips. For these exercises, just repeat each one three times. Hold them each between 30 seconds and a minute, and that should be good. And of course, before these prep exercises, I want you to have a little warm up as well. So some cardio, some dynamic movement to warm up your body, get your blood flowing and get your joints nice and warm. Okay, now here really use and engage and pull from your abs to move your legs, straight strong legs, pointed toes, focus on the strength, do 10 to 20. That should be more than enough. And then we're gonna do a little stretch here. So use your abs again to pull your legs down and then grab your legs for a little assisted stretch here. I really like to flex and point and move back and forth. I especially like to flex my feet. I just feel like it's a better, deeper stretch. So you can move back and forth here. And then we're gonna do very, very carefully little bounces. So the more flexible you get, the more you can um, have a bigger bounce. But in the beginning, I want you to be very, very careful here with your bounces. I do these until my hips feel pretty, pretty open, pretty warm. And I do 10 pointed feet and then 10 flex feet. And then you can alternate back and forth. Now we're just gonna warm up our candlestick pose. This is one of our floor work moves. Perfect. And you're gonna hold the hips. If your feet don't touch the floor, you're gonna keep your hands on your hips. If your feet can touch the floor, you can bring the hands down here and take it slow. Okay, so today we're gonna work on the diamond clock, one of my favorite floor work moves. It's really um, aggressive, dynamic, fun. I love it. I'm gonna show you three different diamond clack variations depending on your level. We're gonna have the advanced diamond clack. We're gonna have the beginner diamond clack. And then I'm gonna show you a little in the middle in between, which is what I used to do when I couldn't do the advanced diamond clack. So we're gonna do first the beginner diamond clack, which is the one where we lift up the hips. Okay, I'm gonna show you from the side first. So for this beginner diamond clack, like I showed you in the beginning, you need to have a nice comfortable candlestick. We call it candlestick, okay, and pole and floor work. Okay, this is not yoga, this is pole. So um, I'm gonna lay down, I'm gonna lift my hips, and I'm gonna practice my candlestick here. So it's a nice little stretch in the spine and the neck, right? I just wanna get familiar with that position. We also use this position for shoulder rolls. So here I just wanna go over with the candlestick because I forgot to before. Keep the hips high. You don't want to have them out like this because that's very uncomfortable and you're out of alignment. You want the hips over the shoulder blades. Now we're going to straighten the legs and we're not going to go for our clack yet. We're just going to go for our straddle and practice seeing if we can touch our heels to the floor. And you can clack like this as well. It's just not the diamond clack. It's just a straddle clack. All right, we're gonna bring up those hips, grab those hips, hold our hips with our hands. 
First part of our diamond clack is we're going to straighten the legs and bring them up nice and high. Remember, bring the hips up high, almost above your shoulder blades as much as you can. Now, very important to clack here, right at the top, we have to actually sickle the feet a little bit. That's how you know you'll be able to always get a clack here. So we sickle a little bit so we can clack and hit that plastic part of our shoe box on our heels. You don't have to sickle like a whole lot. You don't even notice it when I'm doing it fast. It's just a little sickle here. And then we can clack. Now I'm going to glue my knees together and I'm going to do it internal hip rotation here so my knees are turning inward and then I'm gonna draw a circle with my feet bringing my feet out to the sides here as you can see so this is really funky and it takes a little bit of practice this one I'm gonna bring my feet all the way down and once I can't bring them down anymore I'm gonna quickly open my knees and naturally, when I open the knees, my heels are going to hit each other. And I'm going to create this diamond shape here. And this will be where I'll have my second clack. Then I'm just going to straighten the legs. I'm going to pull the feet behind me and hit the floor for my third clack. And then drop the hips. Use your abs to come down. And then you can do like a little chakra girl or you know, go into your next floor move here. So that's going to be your beginner diamond clack. I'm going to show you the advanced and then I'm going to show you a variation if the advanced is too much, what you can do to work toward the advanced. So for the advanced, I'm laying down on the floor and I'm on my forearms for this one. So for this advanced diamond clack, this one here. So for this one, yes, you do need some flexibility and flexibility does help. But um, when I was starting the diamond clack, I had a pretty uh, flexible middle split straddle and still I couldn't get it. I feel it's more strength in my abs. It's all in the abs. I really feel it. Uh, leg waves too. It's all coming from here. So to pull your legs out, right? To hit the floor, you have to really engage your abs and then to pull them back up. It's all in the abs. Another thing, the diamond clack is really like a V shape, right? My legs go back, right? They're not going out to the side, right? Unless you're super duper flexible, I can't. I'm bringing them back. So it's more like a, a V position, my legs. And that really helps me a lot to think about uh, clacking the heels back toward me rather than out to the side where it's very hard to reach. So, and then here you'll feel it in the abs because you're pulling from the abs. And I did find that um, when I clack like that with my legs straight and I clack, it's much harder. It's much easier to bend the knees, do your diamond, and then clack. I feel I can get down better when I bend the knees before I go for my straight clack. Now it's going to be the same thing here. Sickle the feet, go for your top clack. Internal hip rotation, turn the knees inward, glue them together, bring the feet out. Then quickly open the knees for your diamond, clack, second clack. And then you're going to pull those legs, those feet behind you 
and try to hit the floor for your third clack. And then you gotta work on developing that strength to pull the legs all the way back up after you do your clack. One thing I do when I warm up for my clacks is I flex my feet. I know this is ugly. I don't do this in front of people on stage, but when I'm warming up, it kind of helps me to open up my hips. So when I flex, I'm like hitting the floor and that makes it easier for me to start hitting the floor with my um, toes pointed. Now for our variation, if you can't do this crazy clack, right? And you don't wanna do the beginner clack because some people don't like to lift up the hips. You know, I have a little fake it till you make it clack that I used to do before I could do the advanced clack. So what you're gonna do for this variation is you're gonna lay down and you're gonna lift the hips. This one, you go straight into the straddle clack. You can do a diamond, but I usually just go straight into it. So here, I'll show you. So I lay down, I lift up my hips, and I straddle. So this is kind of like a cheater clack, right? Because I'm lifting up the hips. And then you can go into like a trucker girl, you know, whatever you want. This is a nice little in between and it teaches you the movement you need for that advanced clack. Because I'm laying on the floor, I'm using my abs. I'm doing like a reverse um, crunch, right? My hands are on the floor pushing here. I press into the floor, send my hips up. And you can also do a diamond if you want. So you're here, sickle the feet. Okay, everyone, if you enjoyed my tutorial, give me a thumbs up, write a nice little comment down below, subscribe to my channel for weekly free tutorials. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you.